Welcome, welcome, welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called Sleepy Sheepy. <laughs> so let's get into that story. It sounds cool. Sleepy Sheepy was not sleepy. Oh, look. Playing the is like piano guitar, painting, even eat a cookie. But it was time for bed. Look, playing hide and go seek. <laughs> At least that's what the clock said. Time for bed, my little cotton ball, says the mama. Let's hit the hay, what it all, says the daddy. Oh, I missed the thought. But sheepy, but sleepy sheepy was not sleepy. Not one more peep, my little sheep. You fluffed enough, Mr. Puff. Off we go. But sh sleepy sheepy, now quite weepy, <laughs> was not sleepy. In fact, Sleepy Sheepy was wide awake. It looked like tired eyes, kind of, hey? <laughs> sleepy Sheepy was not sleepy. He was wide and absolutely not tired. So instead of bed, he built with blocks, knitted socks, and spun Ma and Pa Sheepy quite a yarn. And just then, Sleepy Sheepy. Oh, yawned. See, said Mama Sheepy. There, said Papa Sheepy. So then they trotted softly, hoof and hoof and hoof, to his snuggly, wuggly, big boy bed. But Sleepy Sheepy. Still not sleepy. Look, it just tears off. <laughs> It was time for a nighttime snack, but his eyelids dropped, his shoulders stooped, his brain was pooped. <laughs> Maybe, said Sleepy Sheepy, quite sheepishly, I'm a little bit tired. So Sleepy Sheepy got under the cozy covers. Ma Sheepy gave Sleepy Sheepy a kiss on his fluffy forehead. Ma Sheepy tucked his covers in quite tight, which felt just right. And by the time they turned out the light, Sleepy Sheepy was fast asleep. <laughs> My goodness, was that not a funny story? Until next time with me, Michelle, I hope you keep telling your life right. Bye for now.